All right, two, right here. This is a teachable moment if there's never been one. This, if I'm correct, is the drain plug for the water that's in the block. Now, it's a 15 millimeter socket. And I tried a 15 millimeter socket, it was too tight. So I put my impact wrench on it and it stripped this. Maybe I should use an impact resistant socket, which I plan to buy one. I plan to buy one either today or tomorrow when I go to Sears. I tried a 14 and 14 was too small. Okay. As you can see, it's pretty damn stripped, right? These are some sockets I bought some time ago. I was putting spot plugs in my nephew police car and I had to get niggerish with them. All right, this is what the socket looked like. They are jacket on the inside. You find a socket that you don't want the socket to go on it all the way. You just want it to sort of fit on the tip. Get you a sludge hammer. You don't really have to use a sludge hammer. A claw hammer will work. Depends on how tight the bolt is. Now I've actually broken this thing loose already because I was getting kind of worried. But you just tap that on like that. You need to pull real easy with this. You want to pull easy and straight. Well, like I said, it's already broke and loose. For a second, I thought it was slipping again. They also make short ones. The short ones were the first one I bought. Uh, I was working on another Crown Vic. The flange for the oil filter, uh, like this oil filter flange is made to the block, but on that one, it was bolted to a flange where the, the filter screwed onto a flange and the flange bolted to the block. Well, anyway, it was leaking between the block and that flange and somebody tried to tighten up the bolts instead of just replacing the seal and they stripped the goddamn bolts. And I couldn't get the bitches off. Well, anyway, that's when I bought these. And there she goes. 